Someone else said, how tall are you? And I truly believe what's happening is a lot of this abuse that's getting exposed or ministers falling or ministers falling into sin is God is saying right now, I would prefer not to live alone forever. So many people ask, this one girl said, are you in a relationship? What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. We're in my apartment. It's Sunday today and basically I'm going to take you guys along with me on a post Sunday afternoon evening i guess it's evening now oh wait it's 4 49 p.m so it's definitely evening time and i don't know what i'm gonna do i might take a nap i might clean i'm thinking about doing a little apartment refresh before we go into the week because i would love to yeah just refresh the place so i'm gonna give you guys a life update while i refresh my apartment i also have some furniture that i need to build that I just ordered. I'm still putting my apartment together. Currently, I'm standing in what's going to be the studio in the future. <laughs> it is getting there. I have a friend who's helping me design it and set it up. And so it is coming and that way I'll be able to film more videos. So if you feel led to partner with me as I set up the studio and pour money into this room, those links are below. Let's go refresh my apartment together and get it ready for the week and do all the Sunday relax things. So I'm excited. We are currently in my kitchen and dining area. I'm still decorating everything right now. So as most of you guys know, about two or three months ago, I moved into this apartment and I've been slowly working on it and ordering furniture and decorating and all the things. This is my first place. So it's definitely taking some time to do all of those things. But yeah, the dining area is here. I'm gonna hang some stuff on these walls. And then here is the living room area. Sorry for my tripod in there. We're gonna clean this place up. This whole mess, see all this mess? It's all gonna be cleaned up. So my sister's getting married. Because she's getting married, I'm assuming we're taking family photos. So I might do that, I'm not sure yet, but I might print out some of those family photos and put it on this wall because my family needs updated photos so bad. And so I'm gonna try to do that, to print those out and put it on this wall. And then I need to hang probably some more photos over here as well. I've also thought about getting some Christian art. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Christian art. I've just seen paintings of Bible stories and I've thought it's really cool to have those hung up on the wall. So I'll probably, I don't know if I'll get one of those or not. I'm still deciding. And then I have this painting over here on the wall that's hung up. And I changed out this light fixture. It was literally a white old ceiling fan. And so, yeah, I wanted to do that as well. So this area needs cleaned up and I wanna get those cords that's hanging down probably installed into the wall, like, you know, pulled through the wall. Or I might just hide them with like some kind of panel thing, I don't know. So yeah, all right, we gotta clean this place up and, you know, clean, refresh relax, Sunday nap, all the things. So that's a little bit of an apartment update. Studio's coming soon, and I'm excited to start live streaming and interviewing people again and just filming more content in general. I really am thinking about starting a podcast. So that's new. Let me know if you think I should start a podcast. I've been thinking about it. <laughs> snacks out so we got organic um cheddar bunnies snack mix uh, but yeah and then we got organic fruit snacks and then not so healthy sour skittles and then also some chomps beef sticks and these are supposed to be free of all the bad stuff and all the, yeah all of that i don't know non-gmo uh so these are good stuff too Gotta put all these snacks away. There's two different kinds of clean in the world. And I would like to know what kind of clean you are specifically. I'll tell you what kind of clean I am. So I have this theory that there's two types of clean people. The first type of clean people, they pick things up. They are more organized in all of the things. And then the other type of people 
is the people who clean clean. Like I'm saying you take cleaner, you know, here's some good old granite cleaner right here, and you actually spray things down and you get the dirt up, okay? And then if you're like extremely clean, then you're probably clean, like cleaning products clean, and then also organized. So maybe there's three types of people. There's one type of person that's cleaning products clean. The second type of person is organized clean, like you pick things up, but you don't necessarily wipe things down. And that's, to, that's honestly, both are gross because one, being unorganized can be gross. And then two, not having clean counters can be gross. And then the third type of person is clean all around. You're just good at everything. Maybe you're administrative. And I honestly, I respect that. I wish I was more that way. I would say I'm more cleaning products clean than I am organized, but I know how to do both. So my giftedness is more in cleaning, cleaning things like with cleaning products, but it's not 100% of the time where the dishes are always washed or, you know, things are picked up. Sometimes you just get busy and, you know, I need to get better at that. I need to get better at being more organized and I'm working on it. So, yeah. But my mom taught me to be a very clean person. I just don't always pick things up and I'm getting better, honestly, as I've had my own apartment. This candle is almost out, but I just ordered two more. So they're non-toxic candles and it's by Flourish Candle Co. And this one is called Afternoon Latte. Can you see that? Hold up. It's so good. I love vanilla type candles, especially in the fall time, but let's be real, I burn candles that are vanilla scented and oriented all year round, especially if they're non-toxic. Don't wanna be breathing in chemicals, let me tell you. Most candles have a ton of chemicals in them, so praise God for non-toxic candles. Kitchen is done, and it's already clean. It was just cleaned yesterday, so all of the counters are wiped down and all that stuff. Um, actually, I'm gonna do a quick counter refresh because I just want it to be clean, clean, you know what I'm saying? So let me know down in the comment section for sure whether you, like which one you are. I'm so curious to hear which one y'all are, you know? Because, okay, this is how clean my mom was growing up. She was so clean that at times she would literally get down on the counter after it was wiped off and just make sure she didn't see anything else. Like she would look at everything to where it was pristine. We love a clean mom who takes care of the house. Praise God for her. Part of me wants to take a Sunday nap and the other part of me wants to build furniture. There's two moods right now and I'm not sure which one that I wanna go for. Vlogging temporarily on my phone, but I just got my shoes on and we are gonna go down to the parking lot and I'm trying to open the windows of my room. And I'm going to go get the new uh, side table. I guess, what do you call it? Coffee table? I'm calling it a side table. I'm gonna call it a side table, but I'm gonna go get the side table that I just bought for my living room and I'm gonna bring that up. I would love to build that today and then also get that lamp ready to go and like that part decorated and just done. That would be so great to have that built today and put the lamp on it and the books on it and all that stuff, maybe a little plant, little cutesy plant. So let's go get the side table. killer to carry up furniture up those flights of stairs so we did it so so far I've carried these three boxes up we have the lamp the side table and the counter stools so let's start putting things together and I will you know update you guys more on life as I do that I'm sweating so much because North Carolina is so hot and I'm wearing this like jumpsuit thingy and then just carrying that thing up those stairs. I'm like, man, Lord, help me get into more shape, which I love working out. I just need to continue to do that more and more. <sighs> so um, I'm gonna go change. I need to get out of my Sunday attire and change it to something a little bit more comfy, maybe um, some sweatpants or something. So I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. So I changed, 
putting on some socks right now because ain't nobody on the internet need to see Hannah's dogs. I do not want my dogs on the internet. I'm gonna grab my phone because you guys actually asked me questions on Instagram. So I'm gonna answer some of those while I'm putting this furniture together. Y'all were asking some deep questions. So we're gonna go deep while I do this furniture stuff. Um, first question is, what is it like living on your own so far? Are you enjoying your part, apartment? <laughs> apartment <laughs> apartment experience yes yeah, so great question i would say i am enjoying it very much so i love being able to have introvert time which i never thought i was an introvert i felt like i was very much an extrovert but now living in an apartment alone i feel like i'm both i feel like i am an introvert and an extrovert which means i gain energy from being with people and also being on my own and recharging and relaxing but I love being with people though, literally with a knife in my hand. My love language is quality time. That's one of my main ones. I love sitting with somebody even if we're not talking and doing absolutely nothing. That's one thing I've missed being in an apartment is not having people here all the time. So maybe that is being an extrovert. I have very much enjoyed apartment life, but at the same time, yeah, I miss people. I miss living with my family. So there's that. I would prefer not to live alone forever. That would be great whether I get a roommate or I get married in the near future. That would also be great. I wouldn't be opposed. That actually leads me to my next question because I feel like you guys asked me several times about that. So many people asked, this one girl said, are you in a relationship? So many people asked me that. No, Hannah is not in a relationship. Um, I am very much single, not dating anyone. And yeah, just been you know, in a season with the Lord. Since you guys were asking me a lot of relationship questions, I mean, I'm totally open to being in a relationship, but I just want, this is so loud. I'm not opposed to a relationship. I just want the Lord to be on it and I want him to be glorified through my relationship, my next relationship. So I would love to get married and have a family. That'd be so great. My passion is honestly to raise kids, to raise little tiny disciples. Raise them in the word, be led by the Holy Spirit. So if I could literally do full-time YouTube and raise little kitties and be married, that would be so much fun. I would love that. I don't know. I can't really get this lamp out of here. Try not to break it. Okay, this is cool. I like this. Somebody asked, how are your parents' cows doing? So if you don't know, my parents have cows and they live in Ohio. I live in North Carolina. They wanted to move down here as well, but it just didn't work out with their business and everything. Somebody else actually asked, how are you liking North Carolina? So I love North Carolina. It's great. I love the weather. I love the people. I love the community. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. I feel like everything is so much closer. So my parents live in Ohio on a farm and they're not farmers, but they have cows. So I think they have three cows now. They had four cows, so we had a baby cow. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, my Instagram stories about a year ago, or it was like a year, year and a half ago, I was posting about this baby cow. Basically, we had to help save this baby cow because we watched the mom give birth and then some hours later, the mom passed away. We sold the baby cow, I'm pretty sure. They gave it away, I can't remember. Because with all the stuff of them trying to move down here, it was just too busy and it was, too much to take care of her and feed her all the time. Their cows are doing great though, the ones that they still have. And I think my dad very much enjoys having the cows because, sorry dad, I am exposing you right now, but he bought the cows originally so that they could sell them eventually. And he never ended up selling them. And now they're pets and they all have names. One of them is named Binky. The other one is Mama Cow. And the other one's name is Becky. I think because my dad has named them, he may not be getting rid of them now. So there's that. Wait, this lamp is so cute. I love it. Someone else said, how tall are you? I am 5'8 and 3 fourths. So basically 5'9. I'm very tall. My dad is 6'5. So we have a very tall family. Somebody else asked, how do you deal with doubt as a daughter of God? So how do you deal with doubt? That's a really interesting question. So honestly, within a time where a bunch of ministers are falling and falling away, I think this is the most exposure I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, I'm only 25, but I've talked to a lot of older people who also said this is the most that I've ever seen ministers get exposed in America. 
in their entire life. So that's pretty crazy. When people have been in ministry for like 20, 25 plus years, and this is the most they've ever seen. And just even stuff happening behind the scenes that's not even public yet. It is so grieving and so sad. And so honestly, through this, it does make you ask questions. And not in the sense of questioning God, but asking God questions. And there's been times through this process that I have asked God a lot of questions. Because I went through a lot last year just with losing somebody so close to me and, you know, passing away. And then going through a lot of grief and then transitioning to North Carolina. And then also just seeing a lot of ministers fall and have lack of character behind the scenes. And sometimes being in ministry like me and traveling like I do, I just see a lot behind the scenes. This all ties back to the question that this person asked about doubt. Within the Americanized church, there is so much celebrity Christianity and it's so unhealthy. Obviously, I don't think having a platform is wrong. Obviously, I get on YouTube and I do all the things. I heard somebody say this the other day, it's wrong when we view ourselves as more special because we have a platform. And let me tell you, the platform does not make you any more special. Like, do you see me right now? I'm sitting in my apartment. I'm a 25 year old girl and I'm building furniture. Listen, <laughs> I'm building furniture and that is my point. I am a human. The difference is on a social media platform that I have that is going to fade away one day. And if the app gets deleted, literally all of it is gone. There's just numbers behind my name, right? And so the problem is in America is we're exalting people more than we're exalting God. And I truly believe what's happening is a lot of this abuse that's getting exposed or ministers falling or ministers falling into sin is God is saying right now, because I was asking the Lord, why am I like preaching right now as I'm building furniture? Um, God is saying right now, I truly believe that it's time to get our eyes off of men and to get our eyes back on God. And that is so important in the times that we're living in. I believe that's what the Lord is doing. And it, it brings people and ministers back to the place where they truly just need to go home and be with their families and heal. God is wanting to restore the church right now. He's wanting to restore the family. We truly need to just turn our eyes back to God. Hollywood has crept into the church. And it's so easy for Christians to become prideful or anyone, I don't care if you're a Christian or not a Christian, to become prideful if we step into a place of having followers. And so we have to go low and stay low before the Lord. And yeah, so within this, sometimes it's easy to doubt like it's easy to have questions and there's times where i've had more questions during all this more than usual where i'm like god what is going on where is the purity in the church and so i love how the bible says blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god and seeing god like my pastor was preaching about this morning is discerning god like that's when we are actually having discernment when we can see okay the lord is in this or the lord is not in this that is what's helped me just to have faith to have faith in god and to trust him that he is cleansing his house right now the bible literally said this was going to happen it says in the bible that the love of many will grow cold it goes through different things that are going to be happening in the end times and it says the gospel of the kingdom will be preached around the world and then the end will come and so we're seeing that the love of many growing cold people not loving god wholeheartedly and they're falling away or falling into sin and all of these things and so that's how i deal with doubt i say you know what there's a lot happening in this world but i have given my life to jesus and he has changed my life and i cannot deny the power of the holy spirit the power of his word and no matter what the enemy tries to throw at me or the questions that are put in my mind because of everything that's happening around me, I'm gonna fix my eyes on the things above and trust that this life is temporary and short and Jesus said this would happen. And so I'm gonna trust in God. And so there's my little mini sermon as I am building furniture. <laughs> I would love to still be living with my parents right now, honestly. Love them, they're amazing. But you know, sometimes God has different plans than you have. I moved the camera a little bit more so you can see more of what's going on. I just want all of us to remember that everybody's a human and we cannot idolize men. And it's actually unhealthy when people idolize people. I love how Billy Graham said all ground is equal and level at the cross. So we got to have that mentality in the times that we're living in is that I love Jesus and humans are imperfect and they mess up and they can teach wrong theology and they can you know, fall into sin and all of this stuff. But we have to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. 
the author and the finisher of our faith. Keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. Stop idolizing men. I think the Lord is saying right now, get your eyes back on me. Stop looking at people. Obviously, going to church is very good. Having accountability, I highly recommend. I think it's dangerous actually to not have accountability in your life. Yes, go to church. Don't neglect church. Don't forsake the gathering of yourselves together. I got the instruction manual, so let's go. This is why instruction manuals are so important because without them, we wouldn't know how this stuff should be put together and it probably would fall apart. Just like us humans, when we do not follow the Bible, God's instruction manual for life is because he created us. God knows how we function the best. And anything outside of God's design and function is not going to function the best. Just like if we don't build this table right, it's not going to function the best. Okay, I think we just got four legs. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this while I put the rest of this together. So I'll, I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> decorate it <laughs> i didn't end up putting this little plant here so that's super cute but i feel like it needs something down at the bottom down here so maybe some books or something so i'm gonna go look and see what other books i have that i could put here and potentially some other decorations i'm not sure yet but this is great i love it i love it i love it i love it it's coming together the floor's a mess now from putting this stuff together but there's that i also still need to put these counter stools together so they are over here in this box. I'm just not looking forward to this because I don't know how hard it's gonna be. Um, yeah, so there's that. All right, so I have my alabaster Bible, cute coffee table, Bibles, books of the Bible here. Super cool. I have some other ones that I guess I could put out as well that would be more aesthetic, but I just put some books under there. That way too, if anybody comes over, they can pick up a book and start reading it. <laughs> Whether it's one of these or one of these, this is one that I'm reading now. It's called A Time to Build. This one's by Bob Gladstone. Well, Robert Gladstone is his full name. So this one is one I'm currently reading. And then we have John Bevere, Breaking Intimidation. This is one that has already impacted my life. I need to fully finish reading it, but I've been watching the sermon series and reading the book, and this is super good. Super good for believers. Highly recommend it. And then this one I've read called... Why Revival Terry's by Leonard Ravenhill. Absolute fire. So good. And then I just have my Bible. My grandma actually got this for me for Christmas. And she got my name in there. Well, my first name and my middle name. So super cute. And then it's got big print and wide margins to take notes. So I'm super excited to get started in this. I'm going to enjoy my new little cozy nap space. I really enjoyed church this morning. And... I have my notes from church right here. His discernment is always rooted in character, not charisma or gifting. Discernment is rooted in innocence. When our hearts are rooted in God and yielded to him, we see clearly. I've just been so glad to hang out with y'all today here on the vlog. Thank you guys so much for 70,000 subscribers, by the way. That is so exciting. Praise God. God is so good. I've been traveling and speaking more again, and that's been really exciting. So bless y'all. I love you. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. Let me know how you enjoyed the vlog, and I will see you next time. Let's give this generation back to biblical truth, all for the glory of Jesus. Peace out.